Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Luffy's mother has always been a mysterious figure, and for a long time, we only knew of a few of Luffy's relatives. Of course, being Garp, his grandfather, Dragon, his father, and his two brothers, Ace and Sabo. Because we've never seen her, many fans and people out in the community have come up with different ideas and theories about who she could actually be. But none of them can be confirmed, because not even the characters inside the work have ever given us any information about about who Luffy's mother might be. However, in a recent chapter of One Piece, we see a figure that could maybe be her, and all the information presented in the scene indicates that she could indeed be Luffy's mother. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about this character who could possibly be Luffy's mother, and the information that makes us believe that she could actually be the mother of our protagonist, the Straw Hat leader, Monkey D. Luffy. But before we dive into this mystery, if you're new to the channel, or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like, or even consider subscribing and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out and motivates us to make more content. And if you'd like to help us out in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or your favorite with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, from what we've seen, Luffy's family members are incredibly powerful. And the four that we have been introduced to so far have been able to do some pretty impressive things during their lifetime. Things in which they have been recognized around the world. Starting with his father, Dragon, at some point in his life, he decided to create the revolution army and is now looking to bring down the world government for good because he does not agree with their actions. For this reason, Dragon is considered a major threat worldwide and known as the world's worst criminal because he became one of the world government's main targets. And Dragon decided to abandon his son with his grandfather Garp, probably to keep from endangering him from what he was doing with the revolutionaries. Moving on to Garp, he is one of the most renowned and well-known sailors within the Marine organization. And at his prime, he was able to take on Goldie Roger and fought him to several stalemates and honestly said that they almost lost their lives fighting each other, confirming that the two were really on equal footing. After Dragon delivered Luffy to Garp, Garp knew that he couldn't raise him himself because if the Marines ever found out that Luffy was the son of the biggest criminal in the world, they could end up taking the little boy's life. So Garp then decided to leave Luffy with Dadan so that the Marines would never know about Luffy and Dragon's connection, allowing the little boy to have a normal life without having to worry about being hunted by the Marines at such a young age. Being raised by Dadan, Luffy also met Ace and Sabo, two orphans who were also being raised by her. And in a short period of time, they became more than friends. They became brothers once they made a promise together. But that, my friends, is where the story of Luffy's family ends. Because the only person that is never mentioned in the story is, of course, Luffy's mother. And nobody really knows who she is at this moment. In an SBS, Oda said that it was really not necessary to mention Luffy's mother, because the moment he left home to follow his life as a pirate, he left his mother's arms to follow his dream. A kind of confusing answer, but in a way, it does make sense. But during chapter 1057, Oda may have decided to introduce us to Luffy's mother for the first time. Because on the first page of this chapter, we see a promotional image for the One Piece film Red Movie. And in it, we can see something written saying parents meeting, where Shanks went to see his daughter Uta again. We see a scene where his crew is eating and they begin to get annoyed by Uta's crying, an agonizing noise that actually starts to make everybody angry. But then the crew decides to get up together and start to dance in front of Uta in hopes of getting her to stop crying. And it really does happen. Uta starts smiling and then she sees Shanks and his crew dancing in front of her and even laughing. But what really caught her attention in this scene is a woman with a child on her lap singing. We can't see her face or even readily identify the child, but in the movie One Piece film Red, Uta was raised together with Luffy when they were babies, which means that the child this woman is holding could very well be Luffy. And if the child is Luffy, it means that this mysterious woman could be Luffy's mother. And Shanks, of course, came to the same island that Luffy's mother was on, apparently maybe where even Dadan was, which means that he met her during the time when Luffy was at Uta's side. So if this is what's going on, there's a pretty good possibility that Shanks actually knows what happened to Luffy's mother and the reasons why she disappeared and possibly 
possibly where she went, but we may have the answers really only in the future if it comes up. So really, Luffy only knows that he has two blood relatives. The first, of course, being his grandfather, in which they both adore each other, but just happen to be on opposite sides of a story, where Garp's a Marine and Luffy's a pirate, and although they may have to be quote-unquote enemies, they still have a deep love for each other. During Luffy's childhood, Garp, of course, raised him in a strict manner and tried to make Luffy grow up and follow the rules that Garp had given him. But the little boy always disobeyed and often made Garp nervous about his attitudes. And this often caused Luffy to receive the punches of love from Garp, and due to these experiences, he kind of became afraid of his grandfather. But at times, Garp acted like a real father and gave Luffy a lot of attention and affection. So Garp may have only acted in a strict manner because he didn't want Luffy to follow the same path as his father Dragon, or even perhaps follow Shanks' ideology of becoming a great pirate. You see, Garp blames Shanks, saying that he was the one responsible for making Luffy start to wish to be a pirate, because Garp wanted Luffy to be a great marine just like him. Garp even tried to get Ace to become a marine too, but Garp tended to focus more of his attention on his blood grandson, because he possessed, or at least seemed to possess, much more determination and stubbornness to become a pirate, and Ace was a little more easygoing. But one could also see that Garp may have really honestly feared that Ace and Luffy, should they become pirates, they would not only become enemies of the world government because of being pirates, but they would also so once their connections were found out, they'd have even larger targets placed on them for who they were related to. And Garp did not want to wish this future on. And it's for this reason that he thought that if they became Marines, the sins of their fathers would not be passed on to them. Something similar to what happened to x -Drake. However, Luffy and Ace didn't wish to become Marines. And Luffy had told Garp that he wanted to always be a pirate. And once he heard the story of Goldie Roger and how he lost his life and all of his glory, this desire to become a pirate increased increased even more, converting to now making him want to become King of the Pirates. But for this to be possible, he needed to find the One Piece. So all in all, despite the big disagreements they have, Garp and Luffy get along incredibly well, and their miniature personalities kind of really create this deep and wonderful family bond that although they're far apart on the seas, they still love each other. Nami even commented at the start of Garp's departure in their very first encounter with the Straw Hats that there seems to be a really big love between them, something that remains to this day. Now, despite being an old man, Garp still has a very childish personality at times, finding it ironic when Luffy causes a big mess somewhere in the world. Garp even seemed to find it amusing when he learned that Luffy had managed to infiltrate Impel Down in an attempt to rescue Ace. However, when he learned that Luffy escaped from Impel Down and took many infamous prisoners with him and went straight to Marineford, well, that kind of changed his tune. And of course, during the Battle of Marineford, when we saw Marines fighting in this epic epic battle against Whitebeard and his pirates and everybody from Impel Down, Garp was honestly frightened, and was even more shocked when Luffy came along with an entire battleship of prisoners falling off of a frozen tsunami right in the middle of the battlefield. And ultimately, this shows that he cares about the welfare of his grandson, but he couldn't just abandon his post of being a Marine to help Luffy in this fight, so he still had to prevent pirates from reaching Ace. During the battle, when Sengoku reveals that Luffy's father is Dragon, and makes this public. Garp simply states that Luffy had already gotten such a notorious reputation that his connection with Dragon was really irrelevant at this point. Garp knew that Luffy has great potential. Since he was able to defeat so many enemies before the Battle of Marineford Arc, Garp just may have not realized how big a threat Luffy was eventually going to become to the Marines and the world government in the future. When Luffy displayed his Conqueror's Hockey during the confrontation at Marineford, Garp was really surprised that he had the ability to use such a rare technique, because of course, people can only be born with Conqueror's Hockey. It's not something one can learn. After the time skip, Garp didn't even seem to be worried about the dangers that awaited Luffy, because he knew that his grandson had become much more powerful during this time, and that he had kept training and getting more powerful. Garp wasn't even worried about Big Mom and Kaido chasing Luffy, and he even found it funny that these two Yonkos teamed up just to take on Luffy, showing how much more confident he is about Luffy. Now, while Garp has a great family relationship with Luffy, his father Dragon was never really part of his son's life. 
And before Garp met Luffy and after become a pirate, we don't even know where Dragon was. Now it does seem that Garp did warn Luffy about who his father was. Since Luffy never really knew or cared who his father was, he once Garp filled Luffy in, because Luffy really again never really knew or cared who his father was, Garp revealed that they'd actually met in person. But because Luffy couldn't see his face and was also kind of unconscious, he wouldn't even have been able to identify him. Luffy only really learned what Dragon's face looked looked like after reading the report about the destruction of Baltigo, in which Dragon was present. In the past, Ivankov even noticed that Dragon was constantly looking at the East Blue from his base, and he always wondered if he had family there. So this may have been Dragon's way of supporting Luffy's journey as a pirate. And again, although Luffy doesn't know it, Dragon's actually kind of been there in certain crucial moments once Luffy made that decision to become a pirate. As proof of this, of course, is that moment where Luffy was in Logetown and was captured by Smoker and Dragon shows up to get him out of it because he may still want to see Luffy grow and may have plans for him in the future. So it very well could be that Dragon does indeed have a great love for his son, but doesn't necessarily worry about his actions because he knows that Luffy's on the path that he needs to be on. So he may just be keeping his distance for right now. But with all that said, friends, we can see that although Luffy's relationship with his family is somewhat complicated. Each one seems to have a position in the world. Of course, Garp being a Marine and the hero of the Marines at that, Dragon is a revolutionary army and the founder of it, and Luffy is a pirate, leaving only one to wonder what position might Luffy's mother occupy, and does that mean she could still be alive? Now we do want to acknowledge that there have been lots of thoughts out in the community that maybe Luffy's mother was a celestial dragon, and maybe Dragon was at one time a marine, and because of their relationship, something bad happened, Dragon hated the world government, and Luffy had to be hidden. But this is still out there in a lot of speculation, and we're all going to have to wait till Oda gives us much more information, not only about who Luffy's mother is, but how she's involved in the story. And you never know, she could end up being a really important character character in the future. But with all that said, we'd love to know what you think about it. Do you think that that image we saw in the One Piece film Red image, do you think that was Luffy's mom? And secondly, what do you think about that idea out there in the community? Do you think that Luffy's mom could have been maybe out there and been a celestial dragon? Or do you believe that maybe there's the Croco mom theory? If you know, you know. But now, let us know down in the comments below. So as we wrap up the video, I want to thank you all so much for watching the video all the way up to the very end. Be sure to comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like or hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I really hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.